So congratulations on this amazing pickup. And with double the episodes, where would you like to see your character in season three? Uh, well, the path that he's on right now, he's got a really cool art going on. Like the first season, he was just kind of bummed and didn't and didn't want to be uh, uh, a dork anymore and wanted to be popular. Hated his life, and then he got bit by a werewolf. Hated his life even more. And now that there's no cure for the werewolf, he decided that you know, since he has this power and ability to save people, he's going to use his power for good. And so he's got kind of this cool arc where he's like learning to deal with his power and um, like coming to terms with it. And he is going to be just like this cool badass kid. And I hope that continues on to the third season. And he just becomes this man. And uh, I just want to see him play guitar. Also, I think that would be cool. It has nothing really to do with the storyline or anything, but I want to see Scott play guitar and skateboard. I basically want Scott to be me. Is what I'm I was just going to ask, do you play guitar? I do. Very nice. And you skateboard too? I do. I brought my skateboard to San Diego. And it's in the truck waiting for me. So I'm going to go skate after this. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. What was your favorite scene to shoot in season two? Oh my god. Uh, I, there were a lot of really fun scenes because it was way more action packed this season. I did a lot more stunts. So I got hurt a lot, which was fun. But there was this one scene in the second episode, I think, and I'm inside this uh, ice box freezer thing, and I'm trying to, br I'm like locked in it, so I'm trying to break out of it. And they were literally just like, just start punching it and go crazy. So I was like, all right, and I was punching the hell out of it, and it was kind of a bad day on set, so it let out a lot of anger and aggression, and um, that was probably, I don't know, I just really liked doing, I like punching stuff. Well, what not, scenes? Not faces, though. Unless they're Jackson's face. What scenes are more fun for you to play? Stuff that's really physical or the more dramatic stuff? Oh, God, that's hard. Um, Acting-wise, the dramatic stuff is really cool because uh, it just, it's just, I don't know, it's gratifying and um, it just feels good. But, like, physicalness and fun-wise, I think uh, the stunts and the action are it's just, it's just so much fun, you know? And is there anybody that makes you starstruck or geek out while you're here at Comic-Con? Yeah, I was just way too scared to go say hi to Brian Cranston. Could not bring myself to do it. Um, I said hey to Sarah Silverman, uh, John C. Riley, Durs from Workaholics. Uh, who else? I saw John Benjamin walk by and I was too scared to say hey. So I, I get, I get um, starstruck by like some funny people. Like people you wouldn't expect me to get starstruck by. But... Uh, yeah, Brian Cranston was definitely the biggest. Very scary, very intimidating. I don't, I'm nervous. Was he bald when he saw him? He, is, he had a shaved head. It wasn't completely bald, it was growing back. It looked like this a little bit, you know? Only shaved head makes it a little more intimidating. Right? It's very scary. I don't like it. I do. He's awesome.